Hello and welcome to this video. This is Nasmus from Nasmus Labs and today we're going to talk about the elusive Monty Hall problem. And it's a problem, it's a riddle, you could say, that has been leaving that has left people left many people scratching their heads. And so what is the problem? Let's get started. I'm going to erase Nasmus Labs from the screen because Nasmus Labs has enough of self endorsement right there. Anyway, so we're going to get started um, by explaining what the multi multi hall problems like. It's, it's not just it's just not it's not just normal people that has been um, confused by this. But even mathematicians had to think before before realizing what's going on here because this problem is not quite intuitive. It's a little bit confusing. But let's get started. Multi hall multi hall. No, there's lots of hallways. Multi hall. No, Monty hall. M O N T Y. Hall problem. Multi hall problem. What is it? Well, it is basically a concept where we have an awesome game host show named Mr. Monty Hall. And I made him look mad, but he's just being clever. And um, let, yeah, let's let's not make him that mean. Let's make him. No, nope. yeah, that's 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 like a hair. But yeah, let's make him. Have some awesome eyebrows and a couple of hair. Anyway, so we have a Mr. Monty Hall here, and he has he's presenting his audience with three doors: door one, and door two, and door three. And he lets us know, lets the audience know that one of these door has a car in it. Well, let's do a different color here. Let's do I don't know um this color. One of these door has a pink car in it, and the rest, the other two, has a goat. I don't know how to draw a goat, but I'll try. There's some goat horns. It looks like a weird rabbit, but okay. But there's two goats in the other two doors. But we don't know which door the goats and the cars are. Um, so it could be the car could be let's put some headlights some windows the car could be over here and this goat could be over here and that goat could be over there but it doesn't have to be like that the car could be over there and this goat could be over there and that goat could be over there so what is the deal here so he asked one of us to volunteer to play the awesome elusive Monty Hall game and the game goes like this the audience you will have to why oh why no why are you you will have to okay something's definitely wrong with my brain here uh, you will have to pick one of these three doors this one this one or this one and one of them will have a car and you have to pick which one you think the car is on now your probability of getting probability is um, one third, right? Of getting a car, so it could be here, here, here. It's one of one in three chances. So let's say you pick, I don't know. You think, you know, some people say picking C is always the best, uh, you know, test. Um, but so you think, oh, maybe I'll just pick the middle one because the middle one, you know, it's kind of balanced out. So you say, okay, I'll pick this one. And and before Mr. Hall opens the door and shows you whether you got a car or not, uh, which is already unlikely because one third chance, he gives you a chance. He says, "Okay, I'll tell tell you what. Let me open one of the other two doors, either this one or this one, and the, the one of the other two doors that doesn't have a goat on it. So let me open, let's say, door number zero." And I'll show you it open he opens it and it has a goat on it. So it has a goat on it. So there's that weird draw, drawing of a goat. Nope. Like that. Like that. Like with weird horn that looks like bunny ears. So he opens this door and it has a goat on it. So he opens this door, it has a goat on it. Now he says, okay. So now that I opened one of the two doors, one of the two doors, and one of the and one of them has a goat on it, you have a choice. You could stay stick with your current decision, or you could change it and get to number two. You could say, "I'll change my answer." So the question goes like this: The question is, are you better off switching? 
well so should you stick with the current choice or uh, or switch um, most people would say I th and you might too and I did in the in the beginning is that uh, no you have a 50 50 chance of getting a car or a goat uh, it's, it's, you have two one, one is already known you already know what this is that's a goat um, so either you, this is a goat or this is a goat or this is a car or this is a car and it's 50 50 it's one and one and a half so you could just stay or switch it makes no difference but the correct answer is that is incorrect the answer right there what we just said is incorrect you do not get the same results by staying or switching the correct answer is um, you should switch huh why is that because if you switch your chance of getting a go a car here is actually two-thirds and chance of getting a car here is one-third even though there's two doors left kind of paradox it doesn't make seem right does it and why is that why doesn't it seem right and it, it, am I making this stuff up I mean I mean when I first heard this I couldn't understand what was going on until I thought about it for a while um, but yeah the answer is you should switch because your chance of getting a car increases by more than a double actually actually it, it just increases by a double in this case but yeah so this is the case it you should switch now if you think about it and you still can't figure out let's talk about why that is the case let me erase all this oh that's the ruler erase all let's use a blue pen so let's see switching increases the chance by a double in this case why is that well the reason here is simple when you think about it when you first pick a door your chances of getting a car is one-third uh, first pick so when you pick this one for instance for instance your chance of getting it getting uh, getting the car is one-third um, and then the mr. Monty Hall tells you that this door right there has a goat on it correct well that's the case so should you switch and the answer says we learned yes you should because your originally original chance of getting a car in this door was one-third and now it's it it doesn't change the probability because you already made your pick you already made your pick and your pick was one-third and now you're guaranteed that this is not the case remember the the other two was two-third these two was two-third of if you pick both of them together you said I'll pick this one or the uh, I'll open this door and this door the chance of getting car was two-third well mr. Monty Hall opened the door for you and this one has a goat this one's a goat but you as I said opening these two I, if you said I'm gonna open this door and this door your chance of op uh, getting the car was two-third well he opened this door now your job is to open this door so if you open both of these two doors yes your chance of getting the car is two-thirds but even that might be a little confusing so I'm going to make life a little more easy okay a good way to simplify confusing mathematical problem is to take extreme situations like it's a, it's easier to visualize something when you take extreme situations so let's take an extreme situation in this case let's say let me delete erase all this let me erase all this um, we have this so let's say we have 100 doors let's say we have let's do uh, I don't know grow purple door okay or violet let's say we have door here door there door over there door over here door in that place door in this place 
and times 100. You have all this, just one of them times 100, not all these times 100, okay? So let's just do dot, 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 because I don't want to confuse anyone, to door number 100. So door 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay? So you have 100 doors, and Mr. Monty Hall says only one door has a car. Well, let's say so they use they he asks you, okay, pick a door you think that has a car. And let me let's say I pick door number four out of 100. My chance of getting a car here is one out of 100, right? My chance of getting a car here is one out of 100. And miss, then Mr. Multi Hall says, okay, that's kind of mean, so I'm gonna be nice. And I'm gonna open all the other nine, uh, 98 doors because there's 99 doors left. So I'm gonna open all the other 98 doors. I'm gonna open all these and show you that all these has a goat, okay? All these has a goat right there. And I'll leave one of them. I'll leave the only one that has a car or a goat. I'll just leave all of. The, I'll open 99 doors that has a goat. So the only door that's closed is the one you you picked, and one other. So in this case, are you going to switch? Or are you going to stay? A normal person would definitely switch, because he just opened 98 doors and all of them has a goat. So the only one that remains is the one other door and the one you picked. Chances are, when you first picked when all the doors are closed, the chances are you got a goat as well because you had a 1 in 100 chance of getting a car. So that means the only other door that's left must be the one that has the car in it, right? So so the, the chance of actually this having a car is 99 out of 100. Because yeah, when all the doors are closed, you didn't know which one, which door had the car on it, so you picked a random one, and you knew your chances, your odds are very slim. And then Mr. Monty Hall says, "Okay, I'll open other 99 doors that has that that guaranteed that are guaranteed to have a do could, uh, goat." And he opens all the uh, other nine, 98 doors, and he leaves one closed, and he says, "Okay, so it's either your door has a car, or this particular door I have." for no reason chosen to keep closed has a car so which one and then your chances are actually better off switching because mo it's more likely that you pick the wrong door and Mr. Multi Hall was forced to keep that door closed because he promised you would open all other 98 doors that has that are guaranteed have that guaranteed that are guaranteed to have a goat so th the one he kept close is likely to be the one that has a car versus if you by an odd chance if you did end up picking the door that has a car, again, the chances are very slim because there were 100 doors. Mr. Multi Hall would still open 98 doors that had goat on it, and the other door would still have a goat on it, But and you'd switch and you'd get it, get it wrong, but it's very unlikely. So mo most likely is that if you switch, you ha you'd get the car. Now imagine this with a thousand doors. Imagine that there are a thousand doors and you had to pick any door, any door, and you pick door number four. And then Monty Hall, Mr. Monty Hall, Monty Hall says, "Okay, I'll open all the door that has all, all nine nine hundred ninety eight doors that gu are guaranteed to have a door, guaranteed to have a door, uh, uh, a goat, and I'll leave one closed that may have a car or may have a goat." So he leaves this one closed. He leaves this one closed, number seven. So he opened all other doors and he kept number seven closed. So chances are either you have the car or number seven has the car. And again, your chances are even smaller that you actually picked the car in the first guess. So switching in this case, oh, I just closed my paper. Switching in this case, case is actually almost a guaranteed you're gonna get a car. So this this is exactly an extreme situation version of that Monty Hall problem. And that problem was, if you had three doors, let's change colors now. I don't know, uh, 
blue if you had three doors so navy blue um, and you picked one let's you pick this one your chance of getting a goat is actually two-thirds but you don't know that yet um, and the and then the person says and and multi says before I open if before I reveal what's under your door I'll tell you I'll open all the what I'll, I'll open all the other remaining doors except one that are guaranteed to have a goat so he opens this one he has a goat so likely chances are that you should switch there you go I hope that helps if it doesn't definitely leave, leave a comment below and I'll try to answer it um, and if you have any other suggestions of what I could do next or how I could improve this video this is my first the first videos of video video in this style so let me know if how I can improve so I'll definitely take your advice in this case so thank you everyone and have a great day you're welcome yay that was my sister by the way <laughs>